Hi, my name is Tammy Cooper and I'm the Florida representative for CopyTrack. Historically, CopyTrack has provided traditional cost recovery solutions, tracking copies, faxes, and telephone costs associated to a case. Over the past five years, the market has changed, and because of these changes, our solutions have now evolved into an all-in-one scan management solution that can also track cost. Today, I would like to discuss the technology trends that are occurring in law firms, forcing firms to not only have a greater need to track cost, but also recognizing the need for a more efficient method to accommodate scan workflow. What's changed in the past five years? Increased pressure on firms to modify and alter fee arrangements. Clients are dictating what they will and will not pay for, such as certain clients will no longer allow the firm to charge for copies, or instead of being able to charge the traditional 25 cents across the board, the firm is forced to offer variable copy weights. Reduced expenses and headcounts. An ever-growing demand for color copies and prints. Demand for e-discovery. Federal and state courts have shifted to digital. Legal assistants are now tasked with e-filing, which requires them to break up the document into the court-mandated size. This can be a very time-consuming task. Expense for wireless devices, document management solutions, a shift from faxing to email and scanning, shift from walk-up copies to printing. In the past, bankers' boxes full of documents were sent to the firm and copy costs were allocated back to the client at the walk-up copier through your cost recovery device. Now your firm's copiers are also printers and it's becoming more and more common for opposing counsel to email a PDF to the firm resulting in printing costs to the firm. There's also an increase in emails and PDFs forcing the firm to increase continued investment in IT infrastructure for backup solutions, network disk space requirements, routers, multifunctional devices. In summary, it is because of these changes that I have found that firms have had a greater need to track and charge back when they can to whom they can because the cost of doing business has certainly not been reduced and someone needs to pay for these ever-growing costs. My next slide is entitled Numbers Tell a Story. I have chosen two firms. The first one, a 100 attorney firm, and the second one being an 8 attorney firm. The reports have a date range of one month. In the 100 attorney firm, the total number of black and white walk-up copies were over 300,000 copies. For black and white prints, 710,000 prints. For every one walk-up, there were two prints. The total number of document impressions for this firm were over a million document impressions. Divided by 100 attorneys, the firm has approximately 10,000 document impressions per attorney per month. In the smaller firm, an in attorney insurance defense firm, in one month, there were 47,000 walk-up copies and 36,000 prints. There were also 20,000 scans. The total for this firm in one month was over 100,000 document impressions divided by eight attorneys, and the firm's doing over 10,000 document impressions per attorney per month. So regardless of the size of the firm, it is very typical for every firm to be doing approximately 10,000 document impressions per month per attorney. Some of the common questions that I'm asked how much do firms typically charge for a print? Typically a firm charges the same amount for a print as they are allowed to charge that client for a photocopy. The second question, when the print costs get uploaded from CopyTrack into my billing system, does it show as a separate line item? Typically when print charges are uploaded into your accounting system, they are uploaded in the same cost code as a photocopy. The most common question that I'm asked is how do firms get away with charging back for scans when it really doesn't cost the firm anything? There is a huge cost associated to scanning. Huge increase for scans coming into your network, putting a burden on your email systems, your storage systems, and your backup systems, forcing you to upgrade on a regular basis in order to maintain the integrity of your data. 
there are huge costs associated to labor cost, manpower needed to accommodate scanning. A huge cost for high-powered multifunctional devices. Network bandwidth and internet bandwidth for large attachments. So a better question would be, how can you afford not to charge back for scans? I appreciate your time today. If you'd like to contact me, I can be contacted at tammy.cooper at copytrack.com. Thank you.